So my friend uh, Patrick, who you might know from previous videos, a uh, very smart guy, uh, just told us on the group chat that he uh, was very, very impressed with a uh, nose exterminator. So if Patrick says that, it must be true. And uh, so I'm going to double check and see what nose exterminator uh, can actually do and if it's worth it. So uh, I'll show you very quick how to install it and then I will show you how to uh, actually use it in PixInsight uh, just very quickly and um, we'll see if we are blown away by it or not. So just go on Google and type uh, nose exterminator and you will see it right away in the first link. Uh, and then if you go in the link, you will see the website and you can just go either get a free trial uh, for a month or you can directly uh, purchase it right away. Uh, so here you can just uh, click on purchase. So the plugin is 60 bucks, which uh, sounds painful. Uh, you know, it's a bit pricey, but if you think about all the work that goes behind it, this is AI technology, so it's really, uh, I think it's very, very time consuming uh, to, to train. Uh, so the, the price is honestly, uh, it's a one-time payment, so um, I think it's worth it, I mean, we'll see. So to install it is very simple, uh, it says, uh, here on the website how to do it, but go on Pixie Insight and first thing to do is check uh, So go Pixie Insight about Pixie Insight and check the version you have Just make sure you don't have an old version. So make sure you update Pixie Insight uh, to the latest version So then go to resources updates and manage repositories Then from here click on add and paste the URL provided by the uh, web page on the website then go to workspace then uh, resources updates again, but now check for updates. Pixie Insight is going to check for updates and is going to see that there are some new things, including RC Astros plugins, and then just select to, to update. Uh, it will take about uh, three, four minutes to update everything, depending on how fast your computer is. And then once this is done, uh, you will simply have to click on OK, saying it was successful and just close PixInsight. Then here, just be sure to uh, to check Restart PixInsight if you want to, and then click on Yes. And PixInsight is going to restart and um, the plugin should be installed. There is just one more thing you have to do before you can actually use a plugin. So for this, you first have to open it. So find it in Processes, uh, either or Processes, and find it in there, or you can go to Nose um, Reduction, and you will find Noise exterminator in there. So open that and the last thing you have to do is to enter your license key as well as your email address So for that you click on the wrench icon and enter your email address used for the uh, purchase and the license key you received and once this is done uh, you will automatically be um, activated on the plugin and uh, That's it. So <laughs> There's a one last thing you have to do, just one last last thing, uh, is to select AI. So select AI and select the latest AI that you um, that you see in the list, because I guess over time uh, the AI will be improved and improved and improved. And so for now we only have the number one, so the base AI, and that's why right now it says uh, version one on my on my. All right, so now let's try to use the plugin on some images. So this is best used uh, very early in the process. So before switching to linear, no, before switching to nonlinear. So uh, it's best used in the linear process. So here I, uh, I opened three master files. Uh, all there was on those, I mean, they're just stacked files. And I also opened one like JPEG, just because I want to try and see what it does on a JPEG image. So let's see uh, Orion region really quick. Uh, this is a, a good one. So we're going to keep the uh, base settings, so the default settings, and see how it goes, because I'm sure the default settings are probably the best to start with. So you have amount of detail or denoise. So denoise, I would never suggest going all the way up because then your image will look very, very unnatural. Keep it at 0 0.9 or even lower, uh, depending on what you what image you're working with. So let's zoom in, uh, for example, around the Ryan Nebula. And as you can see, the noise uh, is everywhere here. So there's plenty, plenty of noise. And now I'm going to apply the plugin. Ooh, that's a huge difference. That's a huge difference. 
And so what I what I learned about the this AI is that it's, it's smart enough to not affect stars and objects. So let's see if that's true actually. So here let's let's pretend let's look at, at those gases here. Let's see if they're left untouched. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the noise reduction was not applied on the actual object, which is perfect. It's only applied on the, the noise pixels around it. Even for the running manipulator, there is noise on top of it, yet when you apply the noise reduction, the gases seem untouched. It's crazy. And the stars? Let's see this star here. Wow. Okay, that's pretty crazy. All right, I'm really impressed so far on this first try. I'm going to put this away. Let's try M78. This one was taken with uh, a DSLR camera, uh, so that might be maybe more of a challenge. I don't know. So let's zoom in. And let's. So it's not too noisy. So let's see if it makes a difference. Let's actually include the nebula in there so we can make sure it's not, it's not touched and affected. And by the way, I'm not using any masks here or anything. It's just I'm just applying it straight away. So not too much noise to begin with. Let's see. Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's really crazy. I'm serious. That's, that's really crazy. Wow. Um, of course, you have to be careful with this. Like here at 0 0.9, I think I'm almost too, too strong. Uh, I would probably apply like lower than that, but even at 0 0.9, I mean, it's, oh, even at 0 0.9, uh, it's impressive. But yeah, I would probably apply like 0 0.5 or 0 0.6 here because uh, that'd be a bit much, but the noise is gone, it's crazy. Okay, so before you fall asleep with me being too slow, let's look at our final uh, linear image. Uh, the stellar region, also taken from home with the ASI 1600 camera. This is an S2 frame. Let's zoom in on the set, on the butterfly nebula. Let's let's look at this this part here, which is the, one of the wings. But this looks like a like a bird to me. All right, so we have some dark gases here and there, as well as some bright gray gases here. So very noisy to begin with, and uh, with the noise exterminator. Let's see. And this image was drizzled like times two or times four, I don't remember. So it's uh takes a while. Ooh. Okay. So here one second is a bit too strong at 0 0.9, but uh just to compare the to see the plugin works, uh, this is incredible once again. Look at like the, the, the dark gases here, there's literally no noise in there. Same for here. Like I can't even find noise anymore just by applying this once. It's crazy. Okay, that is crazy. Uh, I am really, really in love with this. I, <laughs> now I want to, to process images again. That's crazy. Because I was never a fan of, of Topaz Denoise that much because it's, it's a pain sometimes to get it right. And people always overuse that, uh, that software. So I'm really happy that this, this plugin uh, comes into our lives right now. Because it not only is, is much not only is it much easier to use than Topaz, it's also uh, I feel like it's also more natural because it's built f just for Astro. Crazy. All right, so um, this is like a very very um, compressed JPEG, right? Like if we zoom in, it's disgusting. Look at that. But I just wanted to find to grab a random image and throw it in there and check um, what difference it would make if I uncheck linear. So. But before I even do that, I'm really impressed with with a plugin on the nonlinear on the linear images, and uh, like honestly, I I don't regret spending sixty bucks on this. It's like assuming it's going to not be replaced by some uh, something else in the in the long term. Like this is a good investment. That's crazy. Okay, I just applied this on this image. Let's check the difference. So this is with the denoise, undo. By the way, this is not supposed to be like applied to JPEGs and stuff. This is just a test, but even with a JPEG, as you can see, it makes a big difference. It's crazy. Let's look at the little fishy here. 
see, very noisy. Not noisy, of course it's blurry because it's JPEG, but wow, it's crazy. All right, guys, so this was a quick video on uh, Noise Exterminator. Uh, I honestly did not expect to love it that much, but uh, if I had to rate it, I would rate 10 out of 10. Like, seriously, <laughs> this is crazy. So, um, I, uh, I love this. All right, I will implement this in all my future processes now, I guess. I'll probably work on a, a blog post right now, so maybe you'll find a link below. So it's going to be a written blog post with uh, comparison images and uh, a neat uh, list on how to, to install and use that. So I'll see you guys next time and uh, tell me in the comments if you also use this plugin and uh, if you like it, if you find any flaws to it, because uh, so far it looks really good. So see you guys next time and class guys.